The purpose of this video is to show you how to create an automatic scene switcher scenario within OBS. If you're not familiar with OBS, it's open broadcast software and it's free for use on obsproject.com. I've got my browser window open to the advanced scene switcher extension, the plugin for this particular piece of software. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on how to use it here. So the first thing you want to do after you've installed advanced scene switcher, you go through the plugin setup and all that, uh, open up OBS. And here I've got a blank, uh, it, it, I titled it demo for the scene collection. And I'm going to go ahead and call this cam one and make this my webcam. I'm working on a uh, M2 MacBook Air, and so I've got a pretty decent webcam, and I'm going to call it cam one. And let's add a source. So the video capture device, we're going to call it webcam. And we're going to look here for Q, uh, for FaceTime HD cam. And here I am. Now let's add the second camera. I've got a second cam hooked up. It's a Zoom Q2N 4K. We're going to call this cam 2. And we'll do that. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a source, video capture device. We're going to call it Q2N 4K. And the device, there it is. And it's off to the side. The color balance is a little out, but that's okay. So back to cam one. What we, what we need to do if we want to make these two scenes switch automatically is we have to set up a scenario which they can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate cam one and we're going to call it cam one auto. And we're going to do the same with cam two. Now we've got cam one auto and cam two auto. So let's open up advanced scene switcher, not the automatic scene switcher. I don't know what that does. It uh, comes with the program and I've never been able to get it to work. So advanced scene switcher it is. I know a couple of tricks in that and this is why we're here. I'm going to open this up, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say start, because we want this thing to work. If we don't start it now, it's going to, we'll be sitting here tearing out our hair and, and not understanding why it's not working. Now let's uncheck this box, hide tabs, which can be represented via macros. So we got a scenario up here. We're going to go scene, and we're going to add a scene group. We're going to call it... Uh, we're going to call it cameras. Yeah, cameras. You can change that right here. And so we're going to call it uh, random. And then we're going to say cam one auto. We're going to add that scene. And we're going to also add cam two auto. So these two cameras right here will switch automatically. And you can add more cameras or more scenes if you want. You know, whatever goes in there. It doesn't have to be a camera. You can add, actually, a text block. Um, so for right now, just for the sake of showing you, you know, the basics of this, we're going to stop here and just call it Cam 1 Auto and Cam 2 Auto. Okay, so there's these two. Uh, let's go back to uh, Advanced Scene Switcher. And we have to create a macro for it. And so this we're going to call Auto Switch. Auto Switch. So what you want to do is you want to tell it, hey, if the plugin's running, the plugin state, if, where is it? If plugin state, there it is. And then uh, advanced scene switcher is running. And let's drop down and uh, uh, where is it? Scene, wait, not replay buffer, scene is cam one auto or scene is cam two auto 
then what we're going to do, we're going to switch scene and we're going to switch to cameras. Now, if we go out here and look, we want to run macro in parallel to other macros. Uh, and you can play with these checkboxes if something's not working right. So let's figure out why this isn't working right here. So uh, if plug in state, advanced scene switcher is running, and scene cam one auto, and scene, or scene cam two auto, then switch scenes using cameras. We wanna make sure we're active. Uh, start uh, macro, let's check the scene, cam one auto, cam two auto. So this thing should, oh, here. Here's why it's not switching. We gotta be on cam one auto. Now it's gonna switch back and forth uncontrollably. Let's add a little bit of control to that. So what we need to do is we need to tell it to wait. So switch scene, we're gonna say wait, wait for a random period of say like four seconds to 10 seconds. And now that tamed our switcheroonies. So it's gonna wait between four and 10 seconds before it switches over to the other one. And scene, yep. So if you want it to stop, then just go up here to cam one or cam two and it will quit switching on you. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And uh, I know a few other tricks I'm gonna to try to put into videos. So uh, yeah, uh, feel free to ask questions and I'll see if I can answer them. Take care.